Hi guys, welcome to Daddy Dye's Crafty Corner. Today I'm going to show you my MFT release purchase. So these are the items that I purchased from the newest MFT, My Favorite Things release. I did get them from Jamie's Not Too Shabby Shop. So it always comes in this really pretty pink um, bubble wrap. And then here is her card. And right there is the website, nottoshabbyshop.com. Okay, so that's what that is. I will have a link below. Now, I do try to purchase most of my release items from her if she carries them. And um, this is what I chose to pick up from this latest release. So I thought I would go ahead and show you. I want to start by showing you these. Um, let me move these out of the way. I picked up the Maze Builder sets. I did not get the stamp set because, to be honest, I just didn't feel, and I picked up the little beads to go with it, so I picked up one set for the black and one set for the white. Um, and I think that's so cute how she put them right on the bag with the adorable washi tape. Isn't that adorable? She's fine details, man. She's, she's so sweet. Such a sweet lady. So this is what they look like. Do I have a piece of white card? Uh, do I say that every day, guys? Well, do I have a piece of white card stock? All right. All right, so that's what it looks like. You, of course, would put the little beads in there like that, and you would fit it inside your shaker card. Now, the windows that MFT sell are a perfect match for that. So you could pop that into outside or inside your card however you wanted to do it put the little beads in there and then I think it I thought my idea was it would make a super cute interactive card for children for birthdays and that's why I didn't pick up the stamp set because I want to create my own you know saying to go with whatever you know because you could add a little character to the side pretending it's playing the game you know I wanted to be a little more creative so um the other thing I wanted to tell you is these cute little um, circle made, already made pouches from My Favorite Things. I don't have the packaging. I threw the packaging away. I'm storing them in a container in my drawer. But the nice thing about these are is that you can, you don't have to purchase their, um, you know, anything special. If you have a two inch punch or even a two and a quarter inch punch, you can go anything from a two inch to two and a quarter die, you know, a steel die, or even a punch if you weren't going too far up on your card, would give you the opening for this because it gives you that little lip right there. So you have a little bit of wiggle room, okay? But two inches is what it is exactly, is two inches, but you can go up to two and a quarter, all right? So I just wanted to tell you guys that because I've used my um, Spellbinder circles for that, for this, as well as I've got a few dies that kind of go with this that I've used for this. So I really like the circle ones as well. So I picked this up in black and white because I just really think it's going to be super cute for little kid cards. And, you know, I got lots of little kids in my family. So I thought that would be super, super cute. So I did pick those up to put in my stash. I don't have a card in mind straight away for it. But I know that, um, and I love how she did this. I love, love, love. I'm actually going to just go ahead and stick them in the bag for storage. But I thought that was so cute how she did that. Just as an added, you know, anti-Christian um, getting into it idea. I wouldn't want him stealing little, stealing, eating, swallowing little steel balls. So we're going to double bag it. But isn't that cute? So yeah, I picked those up just to be making some sort of um, little cards for little kids. So I picked those two up. I already had the little circles. Okay, and then of course, as you guys already knew, I was gonna get it, and I did. I wanna make sure you can see all of it, so I'm gonna turn it sideways. I picked up the um, Party Like a Pirate. Now, all these pirates I've had, guys, I'm telling you, this little pirate is adorable. This little pirate right here is a Dorbs, a Dorbs, absolutely. And look at the size of him. He's, gosh, guys, let me tell you for sure. He's about, all the way up to the sword is like three and a half inches. He's a good size, and he's just cute. He's super, super stinking cute. Um, so, again, this one I will be um, making, I'm going to make... I think I decided on three cards. 
one with just him and then one with all three and then one with just her. Um, I'm going to make three cards out of this and then I will be destashing this so keep your eyes open for that because um, that will be happening. I just buy these pirate sets just to, well you know, you know, just because I have a pirate lover in the family. But this one right here, that little guy right there is too cute for words, too cute for words. He's adorable. I kind of like this scruffy little guy right here too. Did you guys see the video that Sandy Allnock just did? Where she put all three of them together. And um, yeah, she's amazing. Wow, she's amazing. But yeah, really like this one. It has, I actually kind of like the parrot as well. Uh, the little scene here, not so much. But the characters are super cute. I really love their sweet little faces. And I just love the size of this little guy right here. I can't wait to do him. So he's on the list. And that again is called, I did not get the dies. So you guys know that. I used my brother's scan and cut. Party like a pirate. Super cute. Somebody's cutting their grass outside, and I apologize for that. <coughs> okay, and then I picked up the Fairy Happy. Now, I had conflicting um, conflicting thoughts on this because this fairy right here is very similar to the Simon Says Stamp um, fairy that I did uh, maybe about six months ago. And um, I actually kept that stamp set, and it's really similar. What's different, what I liked about it, which is why I went ahead and picked it up, was that her dress is a flower. If you can notice that, both of their little dresses are flowers. These are leaves, and then here's the flower. And I just thought that was super stinking cute, right? So I picked this one up. I'm going to do a couple of cards with them, and then... I'll probably pass them along. Um, I do like the flowers as well. I, I think that I think they're really super cute, but I don't think I like it enough to keep it in my permanent collection. But isn't that adorable? That's going to be so pretty, Copic colored and watercolored both. Um, I just thought that was super adorable. The little bees cute too. And let's see about the sentiments. Oh, well, let's go back to this one about the sentiments. You're the captain of my heart. Yeah, I already decided. That's right. I already decided I am going to use a couple of these sentiments for the cards that I'm going to do because this would be perfect um, for one of the cards. Party like a pirate. I'm going to use that one on one of them because they go, the people that I give these cards to, they go to a, um, a festival once a year. And um, it's an, like a whole month long festival. And they buy tickets for the entire month and they go every weekend. So I thought that would be really good. Um, you are, are amazing, has been done so much, I'm over it. Um, your grade is okay, and ahoy mate, I've already done on a card. So I, that's pretty much that one right there is the only, and your treasure I've already done. So these two are the two that I'm going to use on the cards. Okay. Have a fairy happy birthday. You're, there's something magical about our friendship. I thought that was super sweet. And close your eyes and make a wish is definitely one of the sentiments that I'm going to use on one of the cards. So I thought that was cute. All right, so there's that. I will be stamping these out for you guys as well. Where's the other stamp sets? Okay, so this is my very first whatever she is. What is she called? This little girl. There's a whole series of this little girl. And I have to tell you, I don't think she's especially cute. That's why I've never purchased her. Um, something about her hair, I don't know. I just don't, I just don't like the, the little girl image. But I loved the fact that she was sitting in the bed holding a tissue box and probably I decided I wanted this one because, dear Lord, I've been sick for two months. I'm over it. I'm, I'm stinking over it. Now the grandbabies are sick, coughing, hacking, boogies, it, a hot freaking mess. If you guys remember, when your kids are little and they get a cold, it's much easier to use a receiving blanket to wipe their nose, right? You have so many receiving blankets. I have gone through dozens of receiving blankets, and then poor little Christina started screaming bloody murder, absolutely bloody murder, every time I would touch her nose. So I went and got the softest, fluffiest towel I had and started using the towel, and that made everything better. But um, I could not help it. I just had to get this. I'm going to do, I'm going to actually do one card with it. Um... And just stick it in my stash and then I'll be passing this along. But I just thought the bed, the bed is amazing. I wish they would just do 
images like this with just the bed where you could put your own characters in there, you know? That would be so amazing. Uh, you could do that. I mean, I could partially put her out and draw the lines in, but that would be amazing if we could get something that size with furniture. would be great. The free with 60 this time around, and I think it still is, was this stamp by um, My Favorite Things. It is called Interactive Labels. And, um, oh, it was right there too. Interactive Labels. And I do do quite a few interactive um, cards, and I thought it would be you know, I, I was, this was on my list of what I was trying to say, guys, is this was on my list to purchase before I found out it was a free with gift. So there you go. I was going to purchase it anyway, because I think that it was, I think it's just good sometimes to add it so people know. And, you know, I just bought the pull zipper thing from, um, uh, who made it? Mama Elephant. And, um, you know, I just, I thought it has pull, tear, flip, flop, look, press, open, rip, push, slide, turn, scratch, scratch. Yeah, that's pretty cool. Um, tilt. It's just, I thought it was spin. I just thought it was super cute. So I was going to get it anyway, but it was free with gifts. So I didn't have to purchase it. So that was awesome. I did pick up two of the, two of the new stencils. Um, they are... They are radiating rays and sun ray. So this is sun ray. Now, I know uh, so many of you asked me how I did the mermaid card where I made the um, waves go down or made the rays go down. I did actually use a sun ray stencil, not by my favorite things. Um, and of course, I did it with the bigger rays going down and how you do that is you just take this you put it up towards the top of your card because you're going to have that cascade of light coming down and then this is going to be the rays coming into the water it's super easy to do but then I I liked this one I like the one I have as well but I like this one and then this one I thought would be really super cool for almost anything you sticking the rays behind it I really enjoy um, using the Distress Inks Oxide and otherwise to do things like this. And um, yeah, I thought that would be really, really cool. So I picked those two up. Okay, and then, and then I picked up, um, these are bigger than I thought. So that was Fishtail Sentiments. So I can, I'll can probably use this one quite a lot. I don't know that I'll ever use this one. That's really big. Um, but I, I don't enjoy cutting the fishtails into my banners, and I enjoy having the stitching around it, so I did get this one. And I know this one will get a lot of use from me. This one maybe, this one probably not so much. I might use it as a decoration on the side of a card, but I did pick that up. And super nice. I really, really like these. And then I got these. So this is on the same basis of the shaker cards. This is for the heart, so you're going to get the, um, you know, the frame to go around the outside of it. And then they also have the little heart um, cups that you're going to put on the inside or outside of your card that hold. And I'm not sure I can actually show you, but see, there's about an eighth of an inch around to hold your little sequins or beads. So it's super fun, super easy. I really enjoy making these and they hold up so much better if you're giving it an interactive card to a child. It just holds up better. They can play with it for much, much longer before they destroy it. So I picked that up and I picked up the heart as well. Again, the the thing about the hearts is you to line it up, I really think you should get the dies to go with this because it's hard to line up a heart with these little interactive circles are easy, squares are easy. Um, trickier with the rectangles um, because the rectangles a certain size but I did happen to have a die that did that and I did purchase a couple of theirs as well um, but with the hearts I really recommend that you get the heart die to go with it because it's going to be super hard to you know unless you're cutting it yourself to match this up so I highly recommend that normally I tell you guys to you know try to save if you can but with this yeah, I think you should go ahead and do it. So I'll be showing you that one soon. 
And then I also picked up this one, which would be super easy for you to recreate yourself, just so that you guys know. So I have um, the circle frames from My Favorite Things already. Let me grab one for you. Let me grab it for you. Okay. So I have the frames already, right? But the here's what I'm showing you guys. These circles are a different size. So if you look, none of these would fit around there. So I already have a, a die for this that I purchased, but this one also fits in here. And this is for your boat, um, let me tell you what it's called. It's called Ocean View um, Porthole. And what I was going to say before I digressed here is that it would be super easy for you to make this on your own with two circle dies. So if you had that two inch and even, um, you know, a two and a half inch circle, you would use your two inch die for this, cut it out. It's going to fit right in there. And then you would use that other, the other, the two and a half and the two to make your frame. And you would, and then you could just poke little holes in it and you would already have this, right? So you could do this on your own if you wanted to make the portholes. I went ahead and purchased it. I can't wait to add this to, you, you know, the um, Gina K Designs turtle and fish. I'm going to be making a card with that. Um, I actually just made some backgrounds. Remember when I I just did the um, mm -hmm. Jane Davenport. I just showed you guys that um, that water set. I used the back side of where I showed you guys the water paint and made backgrounds so I can do a few cards out of that today. And then the last thing I purchased Boy, is this video all over the place, guys? I purchased the paper pads, which of course are not cut open. Are they ever? Huh. No, they never are. I'll answer for you guys. How many of you answered? Tell me in the comments below how many of you answered me. <laughs> the two questions. How many of you answered me? One, first one was, do I ever have white paper? <laughs> Who said never? <laughs> and do I ever cut the pads open first? <laughs> No, you don't. One day I will, though. I'll surprise you guys. And also, you guys know I hate cutting these things open, right? I think I've said that a hundred bajillion times. And that one just came open all by itself. That was a big to-do for nothing. Okay. So I really enjoy having background papers. You guys know that. These two are the... Tiny Hearts Pastels and Tiny Hearts Brights. I had to get both of them because... Oh, please. Who doesn't love Tiny Hearts? Look at that. Lavender blue. That's a pretty blue, guys. Super pretty. Light blue. Pretty. Oh, did we have two color lavenders and I just blew right by that? Did I miss that? Oh, yeah, look. One's warm, one's cool. And the blues. Those blues are so pretty. Isn't that gorgeous? And that one's gorgeous, too. And that one. Wow, I really like this color. This would match that um, Jane Davenport ink perfect, actually. Yellow, a little pastel orange, and a peach. Wow, we got a peach, a pink, and we're back to the purples. So isn't that pretty? That peach is gorgeous, guys. And then the brights. I don't know what color you'd call that. Mm. What would you guys say? Like a raspberry plum, maybe plum color? Plum? Purple? Darker purple? Blue? That's pretty. That's pretty. That's pretty. The red's gorgeous. And the pink. And then the brighter pink. Pretty, huh? Super pretty hearts. When you look at them sideways, they're not that pretty. When you look at them normal way, they're super pretty, the hearts are. Aren't they pretty? Love it. All right. So those were the 6x6 six six, um, Tiny Heart Brights and Tiny Heart Pastels. And that is what I chose to get from the My Favorite Thing release. Like I said, guys, I did get that over at Jamie's Not Too Shabby Shop. 
and you can save 10% by using her code, which is Jamie. And also you get points, so if you create an account and you log in, um, when you place your order, you get points. You get a, a, I think a point for every dollar you spend. Check on that before you quote me though. And then when you get up to a hundred points, you can redeem it for a $5 off coupon for your order. So, um, it, you know, it makes the stamps, that, stamps and dies that we're purchasing a great price. So, you know, if you're not familiar with Jamie, go over and check her out and tell her I said hi. And if you are familiar, just remember to log in and grab your points. And um, don't forget to use your, your code from Jamie. It's so sweet that she does that for us. She gives us 10% off already. And she is so fantastic to get in. I can't say it enough. She's so fantastic to get in the new releases on release day and release hour even to the second. They are there for you to purchase so you know you're going to get them. And um, she's just brought in Brutus Monroe. Did you see that? She's got some new stuff there. I can't wait. So, um, yeah. So go on over and see Jamie. And I will be showing you guys some of these things cut out and how they look in just a little bit. Bye.